Hey there folks, this is Green XI welcoming you right back to Let's Play Ghost Trick. This is episode 14. In the last episode, we saw to it that the Justice Minister's daughter made a phone call to the Justice Minister to remove all the sort of blackmail-y stuff and kidnapping stuff from the situation. And we found out that the Justice Minister was manipulated before by some unknown person, some unknown ghost. So, there's more to this story than we, than we thought all the way through. Let's have a gander at chapter 14. 128 p.m. P.m. Hmm. Temsic Park, the site of the little lady Camilla's abduction tonight, and the place where an important piece of evidence, the music box, was hidden. Okay. <gasps> it's the chicken man. I wonder why our lady detective is looking so dejected. At least she isn't dead. But what did she find? Yeah, she hasn't died for a while. Good on her. <laughs> Alright, let's have a... Let's get over to her if we can. Well, we can. He's just going to be swinging. Huh? What's he doing here? Let me spend a moment's time with you, my love. Is he talking about Lynn? <laughs> the world will not end if the food delivery is a little late. That's a good point, and I bet he wants to say that all the time to his customers. A little late? It's already ice cold. Oh, yeah. Is that close enough? That's clo as close as it's going to get. Maybe we have to wait for him to keep swinging until he gets higher and higher. Keep it going. Ah, there we go. Get on his heart. Swing harder. Do we have to time it right? No. Not by it seems of it. <laughs> okay, we could spin the globe or something. Or we could come up here and see what's going on. Russellless balloon? Okay, it didn't seem to do too much, but a love letter. <laughs> Sometimes it's just stuff that's obvious to do. You know? Doesn't actually feel like it does too much, but. It gets you from point A to point B, kind of thing, rather than being a puzzle. Okay, so what do we do now? Spin it. Ah, the ball. There we go. Uh, move the seesaw so the baseball moves. So, couldn't get on it, but we can stretch to it. That's good enough. Good enough for me. What's the point in the umbrella bit up the top, then? Maybe we'll find out now. Let's cancel that. Let's see what's down here first. No, we can't. Never mind. <laughs> oh, there you are, Sissel. From your dejected expression, I gather. You didn't find what you were looking for? Right. I can't find the music box anyway. But I found something else instead. Something horrible. Horrible? What is it? A leaf? <laughs> there in the grass. You better see for yourself. Oh, shit. Crushed by a giant statue thing. Looks like a dead body. I nearly died when I saw it. And I suppose now that we found it, we can't just leave it there, can we? Nope, I suppose not. I think I know who it is. Well, in one of the early chapters, we had a phone call, or somebody had a phone call, from a weird park girl, I think, girl? Let's find out. I think she's dead. Yep, that's the one. The weirdest looking character. Stop the park from being turned into a house in sight. Protect the park, the rock of the gods. You there. You're talking to me, aren't you? I have some leaflets for you. Leaflets I know you'll be very interested in. I urge you to peruse it thoroughly. Examine it in detail. Never mind that right now. Do you remember your name? My name? My name? What's my name matter when there are more important things to worry about? Okay. Come now and study these tracts with me, my brother. Come and learn about the Rock of the Gods with me. The night is no longer young. As a matter of fact, daybreak is approaching, but we are young. Look, I don't have time to get involved in your way of life. But I am interested in your way of death. So let's go back. Back to four minutes before your death. Okay, let's try and save this weird character. I can't even say him or her. I don't even know. If we had a name to work with, maybe. <laughs> and so I made up my mind. I resolved to live here in this park and defend it. Okay, and what's that have to do with this rock of the gods you mentioned? You still don't appear to understand. 
It's written quite clearly in the fourth leaflet, in great detail. Excuse me, but I have to use the restroom. <laughs> You're in the way. Eek. Oh. Oh shit, is the time of her kidnapping? Just hold on. I mean, you don't need to do all this. <laughs> I've located the target, Beauty. A girl of the right age coming out of the right apartment building at the right time. It must be her. Oh, There's the music box. Yes, my dear. I'll ever so gently nab her and come right back to your side. Good evening, young lady. Won't you come with me? I think I would say no. <laughs> oh gods, what do I do? What should I do? I have to do something. He's all about protecting things. Oh. <laughs> it was manipulated. There's the other manipulator at work. But a way about to fight against it. What in the world? What just happened? Oh, that's Mino. Mino? Mino the mascot, the symbol of Temsic Park. Forget about the name of that big, creepy lump of concrete. I'm talking about the way it changed direction. Did you see that? Yes, yes I did. We witnessed it with our own eyes. The power of the rock of the gods. That was the power of the gods. The power of the gods saved that little girl. And then, that same power very deliberately crushed you instead. Yes, yes precisely. That's called the mischief of the gods. <laughs> was it the mischief of the gods, or was it a ghost trick? But no, it couldn't have been a ghost trick. No ghost trick could change the direction of something that heavy in midair. Wait a minute. What if there was somebody with much greater powers than me? They did say there would be different people with uh, different powers as ghosts. Here we go then. Time to try and save him or her. Them? Look at that. It's another flame besides mine. Oh, so that's the flame of a god, is it? But hold on. Your spirit's a flame too, isn't it? Yeah, so? Pardon me, but are you a god? I sincerely doubt it. At the last minute, that big lump of concrete made a huge swing to one side. That was probably that flame's doing. Who could it be? I definitely believe it's either a god or somebody god-related. Maybe I'd better try talking to this person. It might be better than talking to... Talking to that weird park person. What the? This person with much greater powers than me. It's... You? Hey. Sissel. <laughs> it's the dog. <laughs> oh my, it's... Missile. You look well for being dead. Did you see? Did you see what I did? I did it. I tried really hard and I did it. I saved Miss Camilla, so Missile's dead again. You tell me I was done in by a puppy dog? Missile, what's going on? How did you get the powers of the dead? I'm glad you asked. After Miss Camilla went out and you left... Oh, I thought the headbutt killed him. <laughs> I worked like crazy to make my own path, and I did it. Oh, well done, Miss Hoyle. I'm surprised the door unlocked, but... And then I followed Miss Camilla out into the big wide world. Come on, let's see the death. And then, here at this park, I found her at last. Yeah, you guessed it, I barked. You bet I did. And I went running after her too. There it is. <laughs> Something as simple as that. And then I guess I died. And then I was unconscious for a little while. So we meant to save Missile now. As well. When it came to, it was all over. Poor, poor Miss Camilla. Crushed under that big, scary lump. Oh, what have I done? I'm so sorry, little lady. Please forgive me. Miss Camilla. So that's when he saved her? I had to rescue Miss Camilla. It was up to me. I cried out from the depths of my heart. And then... I can't tell you how surprised I was, but I bet you understand, right? Better than probably anybody else could. I remembered what you did for me, how you saved me. So, you went back, right? 
Back to four minutes before the little lady's death. You bet I did. It's all green because there's missile light. Instead of red. Yes, my dear. I'll ever so gently nap her. Yeah. So we have to stop him from pulling the lever, maybe? Not sure how. Now's my chance, I thought. I saw the core. I don't know, it looks pretty far. I stretched out my paw toward the core. Oh, how I felt at that moment. I'd love for you to be able to feel it too. Go ahead, Cecil. Go ahead and try it for yourself. I mean, I don't want to. That was a long stretch. I can't believe it. How could you connect over such a great distance? I mean, don't call me missile for nothing. And so then, you manipulated that Mino thing and threw it aside? Right on top of my head. Let me just check. Yeah, recording's still going. Sorry. It's... It was playing up. <laughs> no, actually. Huh? I can't manipulate things like you can, Cecil. You can't? Then how did you... I didn't know what to do. Then I happened to see something out of the corner of my eye. And it had a core too. A leaf. A single leaf hanging from the tree. I tried reaching out to the leaf. What in the world? I can't manipulate things, but apparently I can swap them. As long as the two things have the same shape, that is. S swap things with the same shape? Go ahead and try it. Press swap. Aha! That's incredible. And so that's how you saved your mistress, is it? And that's how I became caught up in this, is it? I'm very sorry. My powers were too meager. Meager? Because you see, I saw one more. Ooh. The rugby ball. I happened to notice one more core. There's something with the exact same shape stuck in the branches of a tree. You're right. If Mino could be swapped again with that, then disaster wouldn't have to rain down on my head. But what's it? What is that thing? It's too big to be a leaf. Whatever it is, I'd much prefer it on my head than Mino. Fair point. Why didn't you swap them? I couldn't. I can stretch out my paw a little further than you can, Cecil. But not quite far enough. It's just too far. I can't reach. Ugh. But what if we can possibly do something about that? I must admit, it's a fascinating spectacle of a death, if I do say so myself. I kept retrying over and over, seeing if there was anything I could do. I bet there's something you can do now. Hmm? If we work together, you and me. Cecil, you think so? I don't plan on letting anybody die in front of me tonight. Do you think you could help me? Of course. Naturally. So we're going to drop that Mino thing in a different spot. Okay, let's try it. Let's go back again to four minutes before. Okay. Going back again. Alright, let's get started. We sort of started there before, didn't we? We tried, using the umbrella and stuff. Four minutes from now, you'll swap Mino with a leaf. And then you have to swap Mino with something else. Something with the same shape. Oh, I believe that's a rugby ball. Okay, rugby ball, huh? But with the rugby ball where it is now, missile can't reach it. So that means I have to move it closer. Looks like you and I will have to work together on that one, missile. Okay, I'm ready. Whenever you want to use my swap trick, just press ZR. Okay. That way, you'll be able to control me. And then if you press ZR. So we're using two different tricks now. Control will come back to me. Okay, let's try it. Together we can stop Mino from hurting anybody. Right, what do we do? Alright, your powers are the key this time. Okay, I'm ready. I can swap anything that has the same shape. Just call me if you find anything. Just try a bunch of things to see how it goes. Yeah, that's what I normally do. <laughs> if I see something with, we can swap, I should use ZR. I get ya, I get ya. Open the dumpster lid, okay. If we move the seesaw... Would you look at that? Well, there sure are a whole lot of round things around here. Oh boy, that means it's time for me, right? Oh boy. My hair's also round. <laughs> to use missile's powers, I just tap ZR. I'll try it and see what happens. 
let's move it down. <laughs> Here he comes. He? Mm. Whew, here you come already. I swore to myself not to repeat my mistakes. Mistakes? When somebody's in trouble, you should lend them a hand. Otherwise, you'll definitely regret it. I know the recklessness of youth has taken over. Give me lightning fast speed. Mm, I've been thinking. If we could stop this man from running, maybe he wouldn't get squished. It won't be easy to stop me once the recklessness of youth has taken over. Stopping me? No, I don't want to rewind. I Okay, so what can we... Oh, so we need to get him over as well. I see it, I see it. Um, swap those? I don't know why, but we can. Uh, okay, so we need to go back to him now. I don't see why I just did that. I can't go back. <laughs> um, I can't do anything in fact. Something to do with missile then, I guess. Look at this funny flattened ball. Yeah, we still need to swap it all around. Too far to swap from here. And this ball's starting to look horrible to me. I have to find a way to get this ball closer to that Mino thing. Knock it down from the tree, I say. Must be something we can do. I think he's right. Need to knock it down. Oh, it moves. I, do. I get confused with the controls now. It's a lot. Like, very confused, obviously. Right, okay. That got us up there. And over here. Over. There we go. <laughs> Let's do what we did before. Ooh. I made the ball go over there for some reason. I don't. I don't really know why. But... Okay. I need to move you over. That was so close. If it hit the ball, it could have knocked it down. Is that all this umbrella can be used for? For knocking the rugby ball down? Don't forget about my powers. I don't forget about my recklessness of youth. Okay. What can we shape like a rugby ball? Ah, you can go all the way like that. I didn't realise that. Can't quite reach over there. I was hoping it could. Um. Stop. No hints either, and that's why I'm a bit uh, lost with. Spin this. I can't go anywhere from you, you know. I think I meant to do something with that umbrella earlier on. So death is coming. I'm going to leave the death to come because I'm not going to be able to do anything. I think. That's <laughs> Close the umbrella now. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Ooh. It got closer. Start over. 
Okay, this can be a tricky one. I like the park environment. This can be tricky. What was that? Ah, oh, I've read that one. Right then, let's have another go. Another crack at it. I think we need to get this tire on there. What do you reckon? So let's go... Ah. Oh. Oh, hold on, hold on. Let's get a... Swap them. Maybe that would do it. And then swap with the baseball. I don't know how that will help. At all, but... <laughs> <laughs> we'll give it a go. Assess a baseball by you. Well, here he comes. <laughs> Too heavy. Okay, so we need to have a baseball on the on there. Oh, I do need to read that again. Get off. Time is indeed passing. So now, what do you reckon if I just swap them from Belay? Might do the job. Again, I don't really know why, but... <laughs> Let me up. Right. So we could move the balloon. I don't know what to do from by here. Ooh. I think maybe the tyre needs to be there. What do you reckon? We should knock it off. That's not what I think. We don't have time to prepare. I think we're going to have to find a way to stop him from running. So as I can see, the only way to do that is to use the playground equipment. The seesaw, the swing, those things. Precisely. Except there is one more piece of equipment to be exact. Stop with the equipment. Maybe we should rethink things here. I think the... The tyre needs to be on the seesaw. Down, yeah. One more piece of equipment. Is it on about the oil drum? Uh, I don't see my chance to do so. Yeah, let's start again. Okay, let's attempt it again then. I got an idea after I've tried a couple of times now. Um, I think I need to get like I was thinking the baseball, but I think it might be too light to knock the umbrella down up there. So I think what I need to do is get the basketball out here, surely. Okay, plenty of time, plenty of time, no rush. The problem is I haven't got the time, that's why I've been messing up so much on. So we swap these around, I want the basketball there. Um, where can I put? You just stay with there for a sec, mate. Now we gotta wait for it to start spinning, so you'll be here now. There it is. And if we get in the middle, we can still spin it more, that's why he was missing. <laughs> that's funny. Okay, so let's get the balloon up. That's what gives us more time, I didn't realise we could spin it with the guy on there. Open it up, and I guess we need to get Doggo up there as well. Yeah, I know, it's a ball.
What do we do now? Is he going to say... Oh, yeah, he saved himself. Good. So you are timed on that part. That's good to know in case I've messed this up. Right, so it's a ball in there, but why? I think... Right, yeah, we can get the dog. Get... Get the dog to swap it with the tyre now. It's, it's bound to get... It's bound to help, right? That's heavier, right? <gasps> yes! If the lid was closed, that'd be screwed then as well. We moved the ball. What do you think, Missile? Should be able to do it now. With the ball there, eh? I think I can do it. Just a few seconds, you'll swap Minnow with a leaf. And then from there, you can swap Minnow one more time. The final moment is near, Missile. Are you ready? You bet! Okay, let's... We're now on the rugby ball, so let's swap with a leaf like... I can't reach it. I didn't read that properly, did I? <laughs> I generally can't reach it. What do I do now? Am I, what, what have I done? I need to go back and read what I said. Let's read it again. This distance, I'm pretty sure I can make that other swap. All we have to do is wait for that final moment. All oh, right, all right, we have to wait. I was wondering why I wasn't doing anything. I thought I was. I thought I messed something up. Here we go. <laughs> Don't stress. We'll be fine. Oh, they swapped. Ah, oh, Papa is doing all the work. Watch me, Sissel. Here I go. The finishing touches. You you can do it, Missile. Swap Minnow with that ball. And away we go. <laughs> he got what he deserved. There, how's that? My head's been spared. Truly, that was a try worthy of the gods. And now Minnow is right where he belongs. We did it again, didn't we? Didn't we? Yeah, fate averted. It's still pretty sad that uh, Missile died. Now nobody has to die. Except for one brave little somebody. Huh? I'm talking about you, Missile. Oh, me? I guess you're right. I'm still dead, aren't I? So now let's go back and save your life. Wait a minute. What is it? Now to think about it, I think I want to stay dead a little longer. What? When I was alive, I couldn't even help Miss Killamilla when she was in trouble. I want to be able to protect Miss Camilla. And to do that, I need these powers I have now. I see. Perfectly understandable. Even I wish I had powers like that. Hey, we just saved you. Don't wish your life away already. Oh, of course, you're right. Okay, Missile, have it your way. By the way, Mr. Reckless Youth, it's a certain detective who needs that music box you found. When we get back to the present time, could you give it to her? Certainly, you have my word. Let's go back then, to the present. Yeah, let's carry on with the story. It's been a tricky little chapter, you know. It's taken me a little while to to save our park guy. And so Camilla ended up in the hands of the kidnappers. We weren't able to change that part. Lynn listened to my story without saying anything. I'm sorry. I wish there was something else I could have done. No, you did the best you could. I'm sure she's alright, after all. After all, she has me. <laughs> Missile, are you in there? Are you in the leaf? <laughs> Miss Lynn, leave Miss Camilla to me. I know I don't look like much right now, but I'm sure I can help her. Missile. I don't she understand Missile's voice. It's a dog. Miss Lynn, help. <laughs> I'm sure we'll see him again. I'm going to leave it up to Missile. Kind of looks like missiles being left up to the wind. Ooh. He looks very Katamari. 
That's why I'm saying as a bloke. It might not be. I have something to give you. Stop the park from being turned into a housing site. Protect the park, the rock of the gods. Aren't you forgetting your promise? Oh, pardon me, pardon me. You're so overboard. My apologies, this is for you. Oh. You kept the music box safe, didn't you? Thank you. Not at all. I was only doing what the Rock of the Gods would have wanted. <laughs> What's the matter? Cat got your tongue? He's mesmerized by my beauty. Mm. <laughs> hey, the cat's not allowed to get your tongue. <laughs> it was a he. It said he. He knew it. Excuse me, but are you... Oh, couldn't be. Have we met before? Aren't you... Aren't you that little girl from that time? I'll never forget it. It was ten years ago in the park. Ten years ago? He was there. Are you talking about... Come on, let's find out. Here in the park, the gods surely control fate. Today, ten years from that day, we met once again. If that isn't the power of the gods, then what else is it? It could just be coincidence. But apparently you know our lady de detective here. Could you tell us about it? About what happened ten years ago? Yes. Yes, of course. I was actually about to do just that. Rock of the gods. What's this rock of the gods you keep mentioning? Don't you know? It's right there in front of us. The one that killed you. Well... You know. <laughs> Missile. Wait a minute. You say gods, but you mean dogs? Of course not. Don't be silly. This is no time for ridiculous word games. <laughs> You're standing just above the rock of the gods now. Take a good look at that monument. Monument? Rock of the gods. Temsic Park. The Rock of the Gods. Oh, right. I thought it was that weird um, thing that crushed him. The rock is buried in the ground right there. It's been there these ten years. Ever since that day, it flew down from the heavens and showed us a miracle. A miracle? Ooh, what's that about? Meteor style. So this rock you've been talking about is a meteorite? Precisely. It dropped from the sky on that day ten years ago. Yes, of course. Surely you know all about it. Me? Okay, ten years ago. That day I just happened to be passing through this park. I had no idea that day would change my destiny. The sun was going down, and through the gloom, I heard the scream of a little girl. Eek! Now just calm down and drop that weapon. Stay back if you come any closer. I'll shoot her. I peeked out fearfully from the bushes and saw some shadowy figures. I didn't see the face of the criminal clearly. I knew I should do something to help, but I couldn't move. The tension was so thick, it was painful, just when I couldn't stand it any longer. That's when it happened. The sky suddenly burned bluish-white. Ah. The moment of the shot. When it crashed into the ground, the meteorite gave off a shower of beautiful fragments. And then I saw it. One of those beautiful fragments pierced into the criminal's back. Well, so it wasn't a gunshot that killed him. The judgment of the gods was brought down on the park that day. Weird development. Ten years ago, the little girl that was you was saved by the Rock of the Gods. Oh my, I can't believe it. The Rock of the Gods was given the name Temsic, and still today, it lies sleeping deep in the park's earth. Temsic. I never knew about this Temsic. I always thought Detective Jowd was the one who saved me. You were very young then, and you passed up from the shock of being taken hostage. Of course you wouldn't remember. But that's funny. A huge incident like that should have caused quite a stir. Strange you never heard of it, Lynn. It is, isn't it? But now that I think about it, I remember I didn't want to think about what happened. I avoided the news, and I never came back to this park again. That's why I didn't know anything about it. 
The meteorite was named Temsek, after the name of this park that it fell in. And then the Rock of the Gods was forgotten. Now, an awful thing is happening. They're talking about turning this park into a housing site. I'll never forget the miracle I witnessed that day. And so I've taken up residence in this park. I'm trying to appeal to the people. Protect the park, the Rock of the Gods. That's my mission. I see. That's why you don't want to leave and wants to live at the park. Still a weird reason. I'm taking you with me, Missile. So, ten years ago, the little girl that was Lynn wasn't aware of the meteorite. I get that, but Detective Jowd, on the other hand, there's no way he didn't know about this Temsek thing. And if he knew? And the man died, I took his life. What was that confession of this all about? Why is he still confessing to it? The rocks of the gods that fell from the sky ten years ago changed the destinies of many people's lives, like the ripples on a pond when a pebbles dropped in. With every answer I get, I learn about a new mystery. Will I be able to break the chain of mysteries before dawn? Well, apparently it's like 1.28pm now. I think it meant AM, you know, at the start of this chapter. Anyway, now that we have the evidence we need, we decided to meet up again at the minister's office. Besides, there are a few things I want to ask Detective Jowd. Unless... It was PM and we get the extra day that I'm missing somehow. We found the music box, Detective Jowd. Good job, Lynn. I knew you would. Once everything's been resolved, I'd wanted you to give this to him. Him? You mean Inspector Cabanilla, right? I don't suppose he'll ever forgive me. Detective Jowd. Now then, let's get this thing open. There's a certain knack to doing it, you know. I mean, he just pulled it open, didn't he? Of course I had a knack. Looks more like brute strength to me. Yeah. <laughs> There's the gun from the wall. Here you are. Oh god, don't point it at yourself. You should find scorch marks on the grip. Scorch marks? When Camilla built her contraption, she used a special kind of string. It's the kind of magicians use. It burns up in an instant and disappears. Why would little Camilla use something like that? I don't know. Maybe because she's a detective's daughter. Not leaving any evidence behind and all that. <laughs> In a case report, there was something. Uh, there was mention of some scorch marks. He just shoot himself. Ah, oh, no. <laughs> okay. When it happened, Camilla was watching from her hiding place. She saw the flame run to the gun, something she naturally didn't include in her design. I took the gun out of the frame and replaced it with a picture. If you remove the picture, you should find scorch marks behind it on the frame too. And those marks should match up with the ones on the gun. In other words, it proves the contraption existed there in that room that day. And it didn't work the way your little girl intended, is that right? Exactly. Some cowardly culprit modified the design. But that angle was never brought up in court. And so, as Justice Minister, I must call off the execution at this point. Yeah, I knew I was right. Good old Jowd. It wasn't Detective Jowd. Now we can finally prove that. Thank goodness. Thank you, Lynn. In those eyes of yours, I see the eyes of that little girl from ten years ago. Whew. Okay, what's he thinking now? Hmm. What's the matter? I just don't know. What should I have done five years ago? Back then, nobody had any way of knowing the true nature of the manipulator. It wasn't anybody's fault that we didn't know the truth. Do you really think so? Of course. Besides, what's important right now is deciding what to do next. Am I right? She's right, Mr. Minister. Yes. Yes, of course. I do believe she is. Hmm. What is it now? I just don't know. What should I do next? You'll figure it out. We believe in you. I mean... Okay, we believe in him. Should we try talking to him next? Sissel, if you hadn't come to my cell tonight, I would be gone by now without ever having known any of this. This is what I deserve. That's what I told myself these past five years. But things are different now. Thanks to you, my eyes have finally been opened. Tonight, I've come into contact with a lot of people's lives and got involved in their fates. And the only reason I was doing it was to regain my own lost memory. But things are different now. 
We're connected to each other somehow. I just know it. And that's why I need to ask you a few more questions. In order to find the truth about us. Fair enough. Fire away. Ooh, manipulator. Cecil told me all about it, Detective Jowd. About the manipulator. Yeah, and it looks like the manipulator really did a number on the minister too. Ah. Please don't pick on the minister. If he dies again, I'm the one who has to save him. Ooh. Cecil, do you think? Do you think that's what happened to me too? Mm, what are you talking about, Lynn? Don't tell me. You were manipulated too. Maybe. There's always a part of me that just couldn't believe it. That image of the one who shot me. But now I see the possibility of a new explanation. But who is it? And why did they do it? Hmm. Camilla's contraption. That contraption was a birthday surprise for Camilla's mother, wasn't it? That's right. Something's been bothering me about it. I feel like I know that device from somewhere. No surprise there. You lost your life once tonight because of that machine. Right, I knew it. See Detective Jowd? Oh, I'm afraid I don't see. I told Detective Jowd about it. He was in the basement with that, that scientist with a bird on his head, right? Told him about seeing the exact same contraption tonight in a completely different place. That's very strange indeed. A junkyard on the edge of town. I've never even heard of the place. And what's more, I've never told a single soul about that contraption. You haven't? That old pigeon guy. Who in the world is he? Ah, oh, yeah. He's blue. Temsek. Detective Jowd, you must have heard this name before. Temsek. The meteorite that fell in the park ten years ago, you were there. So you found out about that, did you? I hear that meteorites saved little Lin's life. That's right. I couldn't do anything to help Lin that day. But in that case, I don't get it. If it's true, doesn't it mean you didn't steal somebody's life away? What are you talking about? Detective Jowd, you told me that, ten years ago, the person who killed the perpetrator in the park was you. What? Well, but it was the meteorite. I wasn't lying. I stole that man's life away, no question about it. It was entirely my fault. He keeps saying that. I was just about to shoot him. I would have shot him in the next instant if the meteorite hadn't come. At that point, I was already a murderer. But he didn't do it, so obviously he's not. That's not true. You were trying to save me. Lynn, I'm sorry, but I don't think that's really it. Hmm? What? Truth about ten years ago. Come on, then. On that day, ten years ago, a different incident happened in another place. Another place? Yes, in the police headquarters interrogation room. The worst sort of incident. A suspect who was being questioned escaped. Wow, I didn't know about that. I happened to be there in the detective division, so I joined the chase. Fortunately, or I guess unfortunately, I was able to track him down alone in the park. Hold it right there. I fired a warning shot. I wanted to catch him bad. That warning shot made him panic. At the time, I was a young and green detective, brandishing my sense of justice like a sword. I made him panic and got you involved, Lynn. It was all my fault. Detective Jowd. All I could see was my target. I couldn't even see you. I'm so sorry, Lynn. So the man who grabbed me died that day. These last ten years. I've never forgotten his face. And then a few years after that, when my wife Alma died in such a mysterious way, I thought it was my fate, my punishment for what I'd done. I painted pictures in my cell, nothing but portraits of people's faces. All the faces of the many people I'd met in my life and didn't want to forget. But why Sissel? And tonight? I finished my last portrait, the final face I wanted to remember. Are we going to finally get an answer for his portrait? The final face. The face of the man in the park that day. Wait just one minute. That can't be. I saw that painting. I saw the face you painted tonight. So he was in the park. We were. It was my face. You tell me I was the man in the park that time? That's right. That face of yours is the face I saw ten years ago. The face of the man whose life I stole, of the man who was pronounced dead at the scene. Hold on, Detective Jowd. That can't be true. I just met Cecil for the first time tonight. And he died right in front of me. By the way, the name that I know the man in the park that day by 
isn't Sissel. Hmm? From the first minute I laid eyes on you tonight, I've been wondering, who in the world is this guy? I... But we were told our name was Sissel. Mr. Minister, Inspector Cabanilla, where are you? Just be quiet and listen, this is our demand. What? Demand? Our demand hasn't changed. The execution must be tonight. Once we've confirmed it's been carried out, we'll release the hostage. What are you talking about, Inspector Cabanilla? He's a part of it. And you know it wasn't my daughter who was abducted. Does it really matter who the hostage is? A life is a life. Even if it's the daughter of a death row prisoner. Once the criminal gets the punishment he deserves, the hostage will go free. Carry out the execution immediately and wait for our call. Wow. What is it, Mr. Minister? You look paler than ever. What in the world? What's going on, Inspector Cabanilla? The rock of the gods that fell from the sky ten years ago twisted the fates of many people and started a chain of tragic events. And even now, the chain continues to grow ever longer. Inspector Cabanilla's call proved that to us. And the greatest mystery of all has risen to the surface. Who is this me I've been chasing all night? Who am I? I'm even further from knowing than when I started. But we're starting to close in on the end of the game. We've only got a few chapters left. Okay, the park. Exactly, 1.28am. Do you see that? But it was PM on the other screen at the start. Mm, the linked past. Ha! <laughs> Link to the past reference? I don't know. <laughs> Might be. Yeah, let's definitely save. And we will chuck some music on. So it's a lot of mysteries sort of being cleared up and more being released. So, this has been Greeny XI. Hope you've enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you again in a bit when we go for chapter 15. Thanks again for watching, folks. See you again in a bit.